Adding print support to your WinGrid powered Infogistics Windows Forms applications is very easy with the various controls and components that Infogistics gives you. So to get started on how to do this, let's look at our Windows Forms Net Advantage toolbox. First thing we want to do is locate the UltraGrid print document. So we find UltraGrid, then we scroll down until we find UltraGrid print document. Double click it and get it in your component area. And essentially this is a subclass version of the .NET print document which is designed to hook up with the grid and translate it into a printable version. So a property that we want to set on this is the grid to print. And we can do it through the smart tag very easily by just hooking it up to the customer's ultra grid. Now this component print document is associated with the grid. Next thing we want to do is provide the end user with a UI on presenting them with the print document that is generated. So there's several options. I mean, you could create, you could pretty much just take this and write code and do it the way it's done in .NET. There's several techniques on doing that. Or what you want to do is, if you want to make life easier, let's scroll down a little bit more and look at the Ultra Print controls. So here we have the Ultra Print Preview control, which essentially is a control that you dump onto Windows Form and point it to the document or any other document, and it just shows a preview of that but then you're responsible for launching the form showing it then closing it out and disposing it um, we also have an, ult an ultra print preview thumbnail control which again you can throw it on a form point it to this document or any other document and will generate thumbnails for any page in the print document in this video I'm going to show you how to use the ultra print preview dialog it's a complete ready to go right out of the box dialog form that you can pop up and I'm going to double click on that and put it on the form. Now what you need to do on this is click on it and go into the properties window and locate the document property and we hook it up to the grid print document or any other document. Again, it's, it's not just for the win grid print document. You can hook it up to any document that you want that's, that you have on your form whether it's in a component form or whether you want to pass it in programmatically at runtime. If you generate your objects at runtime you could do that too. And now I'm not setting any properties on the grid print documents. Um, but if I just go through some of these, you know, we could take a look. You know, some of the things we could set up. You know, some footer properties with margins, with text left and text right. Um, there's special characters that we could type in here that pretty much distinguish like current page of total page and things like that. We have a header property. We have um, various other such as you know, page properties, like the appearance of the page, you know, paddings, margins, and so forth. It's just a little exploration through the typical properties, like different print color styles and things of that nature that you'd find in a print document. Now, a couple of things that I want to explain before I actually run this. When I click on the grid and go to its events, and we want to go to initialize layout, for those of you that are not familiar with this event, it's one of the most powerful and mostly used events in WinGrid. It fires whenever the grid is initializing its columns and bands layout. No rows at this time yet, just the columns and schema of the grid. Whenever the layout is initialized, this fires. And it's your opportunity to write stuff in code, things like customizing columns, hiding columns, formatting things, adding dummy columns all the magic that you want to do to change the schema of the grid happens in this event that happens when you bind data to the grid but guess what it also fires during other things that happen in the grid it happens at other times also during printing so during the printing process initialization a clone of the display layout is created and passed to the printing engine and then you could also customize that layout so for example let's say if you have one layout for your end users but the printing happens and you want to change the layout just for the printing without touching the grid what you can do is something like this so if the layout is export layout which essentially is the layout while you're doing an excel or pdf export or is print layout and if this is true it means you're working with a clone of the display layout object which you can change around and everything and it's only going to affect the clone and then you could do whatever like e.layout.display dot dot 
bands and then you know access band sub zero dot columns. So you know you could you could basically do whatever you want in here, like you know edit columns or add formatting or change the style. So there's many different things, and it's just you know just to give you some ideas of how this works, and I'll just comment that out just to show you that's something very important to know that if you access the print layout or the export layout you can do a lot of changes you could even separate this out and make a method that accepts a grid layout object and then you just pass it to various methods that do different things based on printing exporting or regular display layout operations alright so now what we want to do is if I go to the tool button click on the double click on the um, print button we want to add the method to show the dis to show the print preview dialog okay just one line of code and if I run it and here's my grid with everything shown on it and if I just click on the print button we get we basically get generation of all of the grid pages now there's various ways of setting it up so that everything fits on one page you could set the orientation but again just showing you a quick get started video of how this works and then let me take you through the user interface you could of course click here to print if you click on this it means I could you know drag this around you could zoom in and out right here zoom out zoom in and when you zoom in because I have the hand object enabled you could even move this guy around here you know move it around like a little viewport into the data and what you could do is take the snapshot tool, click it, and then I could just create a snapshot right here and copying that to clipboard and then you could paste it into let's say, you know, if you have Microsoft Word, you could fire that up and paste that in there or you know, paste it into an email without having like a screen capture tool already. So that's great that we've added that in there. You know, dynamically zoom by dragging. Then here this one is neat. I could create a grid of pages so there you go these are all the pages I could fit based on my selection so again you saw how easy it is to configure the various property settings of the ultra grid print document and the ultra print preview dialog so this is just me throwing it on the form and writing just one or two lines of code but imagine spending a little time in customizing the print layout the orientation and styling so that it meets your needs Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.